one thing above all else is clear. If the Sword Coast is to find any measure of peace, Kalar Argent must be stopped. The Barrow Bush has been placed, and now all that is left to do is to poison their food and reconnoiter the underside of Dragonspear Castle. Well, that is what I will do in my official position as the hero of Baldur's Gate. Before that though, I would like to take the bodies of those slain in a previous Dragonspear War to the entrance to the Fugue Plain, which is in Canoglim, which is also here in the Underground River. There are also some areas that we haven't fully explored down here, so we have a lot to do before we can return to the Coalition Camp and rest. I have a strong feeling though that once our sabotage efforts have gone off, that they will not leave us alone in our camp. Why would they? If they know that we were actively harming them, then there is no reason for them to remain in this castle. They will have to do something about us, and that means a battle will happen sometime soon. This is what Kalar Argent has brought upon the world, more death. Okay, the barrel of Boosh has been placed. Let's move on. We have to return these corpses to... or not return them, take them to the Fugue Plain. Crusaders who think that we are fellow Crusaders. It's such a strange place down here. Where does this go? What? Corral? Fighting. Are these crusaders? Your attacks. Fall back. Stand your ground. Rain the driders in. This assault benefits neither of us. I suggest a parley. I suggest you withdraw. What's going on here? Why are you fighting? These drow attacked us without provocation. We were defending ourselves. We did not come here to battle, but will not shy away from it. We were content to go about our search in peace, but this Bunjuro surfacer and her Benlath attacked us. What exactly are you searching for? That's no business of yours, surface dweller. Hmm. I'm trying to avoid further bloodshed if I can find what you seek. Will you return from whence you came, in peace? We are searching for two young drow. Adolescents, lost in the tunnels. Oh, um... Bide here a time, I will seek them out and bring them back to you as soon as I'm able. Many thanks for the help, stranger. We could have taken the drow, but it would have cost us dearly. They are experienced warriors, especially in surroundings such as these. <laughs> I'm happy to be of service. Away with you all. Do not return without our young ones. Just snag that potion, since I'm a fellow crusader as well. Okay, well, let's move on. These, we met them, the two drow, but I don't want to return them. Maybe I should just come back and tell them that they they fled. Bella Gulp. A cave here. The river, this is the underground river, it snakes all through here. Strange sounds. Okay, so we've got to find our way back to Canal Glim. I don't think this is the way. This is where we found the bodies that we're trying to return or take to Canal Glim, the Fugue Plain. It's a rather eerie sound. Sahwagan, Sahwagan. Never get that right. That's what they were right here. The two Sahwagan. They should just be named Shugan. Who wants to call them Sahwagan? Sahwagan. There's a H before the W. Sahwagan. <laughs> I guess that's what they want to be called. Shugan. 
Shugan is better. But I don't think they'd appreciate being called Shugan to their face. Alright, we have to find these drow, which are right by the entrance to Canoglem. Last we saw them. I think it would be rather foolish of them to hang around here, especially if they know that they're being searched for. Yeah, they were from different houses and they weren't allowed to be together. That's what they said. That's the reason why they fled. I don't know if we'll ever be even be able to find them. Okay, back into this place of undeath. Hopefully there won't be any more undead for us to fight. Before venturing forth. Oh, this place seems to be empty. Except for this gaping hole to another realm. Okay, let's start throwing in these these bones. Uh, this is a good spot over here. Aye. I throw the lost soul's corpses down into the chasm and watch them disappear into the gray. A silent flash of spiritual energy marks each body's crossing of the threshold into the fugue plane. We feel the pull of the fugue plane. Do not fight it. It will take you where you want. You ought to go. May you find peace on the other side. Goodbye, Litla. Thank, Thank you, my ancestor. It is good to know my bloodline continues in such strong and good-hearted kin as you. That's kind of you to say, Litla. Though technically I came after to you, so I'm more of a descendant than an ancestor. And uh, let's just let that one slide. As mistakes go, it's not so bad, and you're off to the few clans. So just you know, enjoy the journey. Your efforts merit reward. Would that we had something to offer, but our thanks. Go in peace. Uh. I hope your existence is better on the other side. Yes? Okay, let's find these drow if we can. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Close this door. Some places shouldn't be wide open to the whole world. I certainly wouldn't want to the jump in there. The one protects us in the darkness. Good thing too, because this place is nasty. <laughs> oh, glint. Yeah, if I jumped in there, I'd never see the prime material plane again most likely I don't know if that would mean my death or I don't think things are as they are here meaning the reality is slightly different in that plane the fugue plane oh I have no idea where to find these drow <sighs> Their disappearance has brought the crusade into conflict with a search drow search party. If I can find the lost drow, I may save lives and drow and crusader alike. I may just have to tell them that I don't know where they went. Or just lie and say they went to the surface. Oh. This is the... What happened to the crusader that turned into a... Mm, it's awful. The spores turned him into a mushroom. What a fate. Ugh. And so I we have not seen these drow. If they were smart, they would have fled. I don't think I have a choice but to say that they've fled and they'll have to they'll have to find them on their own. But I don't hmm. I'm not doing it to save crusader lives. I don't know. I don't even know why I should even bother. Let them kill the Crusaders. <laughs> Sometimes I'm too good for my own good, so to speak. And even I realize that. Being too good. Well, helping the enemy that's trying to destroy you. Okay. Uh, crusaders right in the way. You're blocking the way, Crusader. Move, please. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're just gonna tell them that they left. Because I think that they're gone. They shouldn't even be down here. They should be on the surface somewhere. What is it? Through destiny and might, we shall rule supreme. Have you found our children? Uh, I have, but you're not thanking thank me for doing so. What? What do you mean? The monsters that live in these tunnels slew them before they could reach the surface. One of them dead in these tunnels? I could have believed. Elf? Both? No, you lie. Kill! Kill the Riven! All of them! Oh, great. I'm a little bit too close. Well, hopefully the Crusaders will back us up. This may be really tough. Down here? Uh, we need spell power. In which we don't have, because we were not prepared for such a thing. We're just going to have to hope it works. Plop a group of monsters right on them, if you please. Well, there's work against a couple of them. What? The curse me. I'm not sure with what. They've summoned spiders of their own. Keep fighting, we're beating him. I am shamed. I've traveled with a lot of great people in the past. More than Ooh. you might believe. But this is the best team ever. Whatever they hit me with, it's I don't feel it. I'm in fact, I feel enchanted and blessed by the Crusaders. <laughs> the irony. I didn't want to... Yeah, look. They are gone. I didn't lie. They're long gone. I told them the truth. They're long gone from here. Oh, no, sorry. I did... <laughs> sorry, my head was... addled from that fight. I, they are long gone, but I told them that they were dead, so hopefully that they wouldn't chase them. Yes, yeah, so they are. They're dead to the drow world. I'm not sure where the nearby, what nearby city is by here, underground. I just know they have a lot of cities underneath there. But they're not very numerous, these drow. However, they make up for it with very skilled warriors, fighters, and very powerful priests and magicians. And they're summons, summonings, and they even summon demons to their side, and they're just very, very powerful. You don't want to mess with the drill. Nobody wants to. Last thing you want is have the drow at war with you. Oh, what is this? A cloak of the strange beast. I wonder if maybe could you wear this? Minsk, cloak of the strange beast. For a strange beast. Halberd. Halberd. And bracers we can identify. Sling, we can just sell this. Let's see. Lots of things to still pick up. Of course, they have a lot of magical items. Lots of healing potions for Minsk. sword and some bullets. Minor enchantment on the long sword and on the morning star. What is this Ion stone? Okay, who is in charge here of the crusaders? She may have died. Oh, it was her. Is 
Is she held? Maybe she is. Hello? You be quiet. It's so dark down here, I can't see my hand from my face. Don't you have infra vision like me, Hobgoblin? Okay. You've helped us out of a tight spot, and no mistake, these drow would have killed us to a soldier. Here, it's not much, but I hope you'll accept this cloak and thanks. And it's even my size, thanks. Time to head back to the surface. Yeah, I think she was paralyzed, actually. Well, we've got a lot of things for done here to identify. Is there anything else here? Don't see anything. Well, I would say that we did a good thing. Drow are much worse than Crusaders. And with the Crusaders' help, we defeated them. I feel like we are missing something out here. Oh well. Let's go and reconnoiter the underside of the castle. Hello. You need something? Ho, mercenary. Come have a drink with us. God, Spence, I told you what happened the last time one of the cell swords joined us. Yeah, you told me, and I still don't believe it. Was this about the fellow who dropped the potion in the pot? You heard about that, eh? It was a mercenary named Ferris. You know him? No great loss if you don't. The oaf dropped a vial of fire breath potion in this pot. I can't decide what's more miraculous, that that didn't kill him, or that brass breaker also didn't kill him once things had calmed down and we cleared the air. Clear the air? Breathe deep. You can still smell it, even now. Oh, okay. I kind of smell it. Now we have to keep all explosive potions sealed up in crates at the depot and hike back there if we need one. Bloody Ferris. I still can't believe anyone was that stupid. Well. May you know the happiness of a warm heart and home. Move on, mercenary. I've had enough trouble with your lot. Oh. This looks like they're guarding the underside of the Halt! castle. Identify yourself. Uh, I come on urgent crusade business. See here, I have Kalar's crest. I see. And would you be willing to tell me just what that business is? Best not to, I think. I see. Very good, my lady. You may pass. You have a charmed life. Everything <laughs> should be so easy. I would definitely not say I've had a charmed life. <laughs> may the lady's light shine on you always, ma'am. Definitely not. You must gather your party before venturing. I'm the daughter of a child of murder, and ever since I left Candle Keep, everything has gone to the hills. So, Charmed Life, I guess just I should be thankful I'm still alive and that I actually found love. Well, storage, I don't see any storage, there's some storage things here, but not that much. Honor Glove and Vulnerability, they think we're Crusaders, so, I mean, we can't just take everything we come across. I'd be too suspicious, especially if it's valuable. But we can look and see if there's some like these potions. Evil surrounds us. Hard to come by. Yes. Oh, look at these ogres. These are these the ogres that uh, that tribe was talking about. Hello, ogre. Get out of here, elf. <laughs> Go away, elf. Me no talk with you. Who are you? What you care? You out of cage, we in cage, eh? Whatever. Me slug, leader of ogre band. We live in caves, go outside caves, take what we need, kill who we want. It good life. Hmm. Ogres are inherently evil, like they're goblinoid kin. But you know what? If we can set these ogres against the crusaders, that would just that would help us. Sounds like you had a good life, and but this was also their home. I'm not saying that they should be free to go wander around and kill 
and murder and take what they want. But this was their home. Sounds like it. Slug, best bandit in forest. Make lots of gold. Have strong mate. Then shiners come. Chase us out of tunnels. Kill some. Catch us. A tragic and all too common tale these days. Perhaps we can be of assistance to each other. What you mean? Hmm. If I freed you, could you offer some guidance through the tunnels that you once called home? Why, slug, trust, elf. Your kind put me in here. Small races, mean and tricky. Well, that's all too often true, regrettably. But we share the same desire, the crusade's destruction. Surely we can work together against a common foe. Let ogres out first, then slug help you. Huh. Uh, is there anybody even looking? That spear has a magical enchantment about it. Ooh. Scimitar. Down here. <laughs> you have a lot of things to identify now. Here, this this one is a minor magical enchantment. Same with the scimitar. We can just sell it when we get back to the coalition camp. But, uh... Glint, there's a chest over there. See if there's any traps and open the it, please. The sly one protects us in the darkness. Good thing, too, because this place is nasty. Bolts. No one in the group uses bolts, even though they're enchanted. You okay, called? Glint, can you open up those cages, you think? We'll keep watch over here. And uh, make sure they don't do anything to you once they get out. We'll try not to let them do anything to you. The lock breaks apart with a loud snap. Slug free! <laughs> now that you're free, how can you help me? Nurse, all alone outside. Slug need find her, but first help you. In north end of river caverns is fresh water, good to drink. On wall next to pool is hiding hole. Ogre treasure there. It will help you kill shiners. <laughs> the clear water, the little pool, that's where that little gnome came up. Alright, um, you have my thanks, Ogre. Now slug go, you secret passage. Get past Shiner guards. Kill them if they get in the way. Find Murs, and then we kill Shiners. Everyone we can. They take slug away from Murs. Slug take heads away from bodies. <laughs> They're too busy firing their arrows and practicing over there. They didn't even notice the fools. But there are some guards on the way outside, so the, I'm sure those ogres will make short work of them. Though. An open wound in Mother Earth. I would plug it had Ooh. I the power. Magical enchanted longsword, arrows. I don't think I've seen this kind of arrow before. Arrow, longsword, minor magical enchantment, anti-magic arrow. Oh, wait, I have seen these before. That's a lot of them for anti-magic. if I couldn't... I might need this if we get in trouble. I'll just keep it here. Um, let's see. Does that fit in there, at least? Okay, so... Anti-magic. This fit in there. No, that's full. Some rings. some strong dwarven ale. No passes beyond this point. Excuse me. I have to go up... Good day, and hello to you. May the lady's light shine upon you. I have to go past here, so you're not going to stop me. Gem and jewelry. Locked crate. Open that, please, Clint. So 
some bullets. We probably don't need it. Glint is pretty full. Oh, you know, just use this. I guess we can take it, but it's rather pointless. Some of these are very powerfully enchanted bullets. say we rest more, then we work harder. Rest make better work. How that possible? Rest more mean less time for work. Happy worker is more predict product. Happy worker is happier. Happier better, Betroar. Me happy on not being beaten, so no more resting talk, got it? What is it? Interesting. There's more ogres here. I'm not sure if they were part of the clan or if they joined the clan that was... that used to live here, or if they joined on their own. Ooh, gold. Big pile of it in there. Those healing potions. Things like this I'm kind of excited to find. Because they're rare and expensive. We have not yet seen um, what? where their food stores are. Turning this mito mighty wheel raises a platform up into Dragon Spear Castle's basement. Unfortunately, the wheel has clearly been designed with ogres in mind, and strength alone will not make it turn. My size makes it impossible for me to use the platform to reach the castle. Oh, this lo the priest looks like she has uh, some rank to her. I welcome or him. You outstretched hand. Eh, what's this? Mercenaries neath the castle? Mercenaries, nay, I serve the Shining Lady. See here, I bear her seal. You are a true believer in the Shining Lady's cause, then? Forgive me, friend. I judge you too harshly, forgetting that the Lady welcomes all people of good faith, regardless of their past deeds or um, their appearance. Um, the line twixt righteous and judgmental is exceedingly fine. We must be steadfast in our care not to cross it. Only the Shining Lady herself might put it better. What can I do for you, friend? Tell me, how did you come to serve, Kalar? My mother died when I was a child, leaving me and my sister in my father, Polv's, care. He was a good man, my father. When the devil spilled out of Dragon Spear and ravaged the land nearly ten years ago, he was among the first to stand against them. He was also among the first to fall. Leah and I were sent to live with my aunt and uncle. They were poorer than father, but no less lo noble in spirit. They cared for us as they did their own children. They were slain in the second Dragon Spear War. So were Leah and my three, three of my cousins. Oh, sorry to hear that. I found some comfort in my faith, some, but when Kalar found me, I admit, I had begun to question Helm and all the gods. How could they allow this to happen? Kalar had an answer? The loss of our loved ones is a test the gods have set before us, a test we too often fail. We bow our heads, shed some tears, and shrug our shoulders, accepting what should be unacceptable. The dragon spear dead were not lost, they were taken, and what was taken once can be taken back. Praise be to Kalar. Thank you for your time and your tale, Polvi. I'll leave you now. Then go forth in the Shining Lady's light and do her work. Farewell. Yes? Actually, that seems like a very good man. Well, there's just this other section over here. Then we can try working our way upside into the underside of the castle. We'll have to convince these ogres to let us up. More gems. Potion. 
jewelry. Scrolls, which are not identified. More potions, which we do not need. Let's go up this last area. Hopefully it's the last. It might keep on going. I don't know. What is it? Huh. Hello. Oh. Who are you? Uh, don't be afraid. I'm Oren. Are you with the crusade? Rhonda? Is it really you? What are you doing down here? By the gods, not another relative, Glint. Glint, did the crusade catch you too? No, I'm with my friend here. This is my cousin, Rhonda Swiftwood's daughter. Rhonda, we're working against the Crusade. Well, she is. I'm mostly just along for the ride. <laughs> You've got to get out of here, Glint. Oh, you're the one who needs to leave, milady. This place isn't safe, and it's going to get even less safe by the time I'm done with it. What are you planning? That depends on whether we can get past those ogres and up to Dragonspear. Ogres? You mean Einar and Betror? They're just downstairs, arguing with one another, as far as I can tell. That's Einar and Betror, all right. You want to go up into Dragonspear? Let me talk to them. I'll get you up there. Okay. Ooh, more potions. Healing po potions. Okay, let's go. Let's follow Rhonda. And we'll get up to the underside of the castle. <laughs> 